You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. The Appalachian Center for the Arts loaded in their new art exhibit. So we've got a new gallery coming in in March and it is the works of Tim Smith and Tina Oosley. Um, and they are from Big Sandy Community College um, and they're bringing their stuff in. They're going to be showing in March. <laughs> yeah, this exhibit is an exhibit of uh, artworks w which we've worked on for some years now. Some's newer and some's older. Tina Oosley, my fiance and, and me, we work together as artists. She works mainly with oil paint uh, and I work with many mediums including sculpture, printmaking, painting, and drawing, and other things. And uh, we just really enjoy uh, making art together. The exhibit will open to the public March 1st and is free to view, but select pieces will be up for sale. Uh, Tina works uh, predominantly in the uh, expressionistic style with her uh, loose brush strokes and, and sometimes arbitrary colors and plays of scale and things like that. It can fall over in some of her works as more abstract than expressionism. Uh, me, on the other hand, I have no specific style, so to say. Um, I'm going to switch constantly back and forth, and uh, I just enjoy trying a lot of different things. The gallery will be open Monday through Friday, 1 to 4.30 p.m., or by appointment. Me and her both are natives of the region. Uh, I've lived in Pikeville and over at uh, Raccoon Creek, Kentucky, growing up and so forth. And it's just great to see the arts being promoted in this region uh, much stronger than it has been in the past. And we both are very supportive of that, especially at this place. I, I, we're very excited that uh, Pikeville's got uh, a great venue for the arts uh, needed for a long time here. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Ethan Miller.